Hey guys, Chibi Otaku here, and I have another Jurassic Park toy review for you. Uh, this is the Celiophysis, aka Sprinters, and tomorrow I'll probably be doing one on the JP3 female raptor. Okay. Oh, and, uh, I'm sorry about that noise. That's, uh, new aquarium. Yeah. Let me know in the comments if you need me to uh, get a new place to do my reviews. So, this is the one of the two only ones I have in a box. Uh, the other one is from JP3. It's the uh, Pteranodon. I was about to say Pterodactyl there. So, yeah, here... Let's start with the card first. Hold on, let me turn off the flash. Nope. Okay. Uh, Coelophysis Sprinters. There they are. There's, uh, um, Malcolm and Grant. This is four right there. Coelophysis. The length. I don't know if you can see this, so I'll just read it for you. Length, 10 feet. Weight, uh, 200 feet. Uh, 200 pounds to 300 pounds, my bad. Um, diet, meat, period, Triassic, range, North America. And then that's just a description of the dinosaur. Then it says dino trivia. How many fingers were on seal of Isis? This is hands. And then flip it over, and then there's the answer. It says three. Then there's the Kenner logo. So this is a cool little trading card. I want a lot of these so I can uh, make like a deck of them. Not of this exact one, but you know what I mean. So the box, I love the box. There's the Jurassic Park logo, Coelophysis. Constrictor bodies. Oh, it says sprinters right there. Movie collector card. And then. So. Yep. Uh, there it has instructions. It says bend neck and tail into fighting position. Uh, make him grab the human figure to recreate an attack. Right. It is right there. And then. It's got the human figures, Tim, I don't have him, Alan, I don't have that version, Ellie, don't have her, Muldoon, I have him, uh, Dennis, don't have him, but I'm gonna get him, I've got the raptor, I've got the Dilo, I've got the ter pterosaur, or er, uh, pteranodon, I've got the Demetrodon, and I have the Coelophysis, and here in the electri uh, Dino Screams one, I've got the raptor and the Dilophosaurus, so I, I pretty much have them all. Then there's the Stand in Stan Winston T Rex. So, I'll just uh, put the box in the background there with the card. Oops, my bad. Okay, so, um, here. Is the male Coelophysis? He's the gray one with the purple snout. He's white on the underbelly. Uh, his legs are straight, which makes him terrible to stand in any position except for this position. So it would look like that from a side view, which isn't that bad of a pose, except you can see that, uh, he should be able to stand in other poses. So, his arms can articulate. Uh, yeah, his arms go 360. His legs do too. You see his, the straight legs. Uh, that one, that one's a slightly different mold. So, the tail is just bendy right there. And then here you can actually 
pose it. Hold on, let me put the camera down. There. Sorry about that. Yeah, so you can like bend it into different positions, up, down, sideways, whatever you want. So, you can bend the body and the head. I like the female one a lot better. Here, that that's a really cool position. I like to put her in like that. She's, yeah, she's bright green with a purple snout. She has the same articulation for arms and legs, except instead of having straight legs, she has uh, like a hind, you know, jumping legs. Like they, they're kind of like a mixture of compies and raptors. Yeah, so she's a lot easier to stand. Oh, and yeah, they say. Uh, JPL4, they both say it. So, um, yeah, there they are together. You get kind of a pack of them for like the price of one. See, <clears throat> it says, I don't know if you guys can read that, but it says $7.49. That is not fair though to sell them on eBay for. 30 bucks, which is how much I bought them for. Okay, it might be. Maybe. I don't know. They're old, so, uh. Well, this is Chibio Taku signing out. Hoo <laughs>